In this video, we'll be showing you how you can run CMonkey on FreeBSD and GhostBSD. Right, CMonkey, it's a browser which I used to use all the time. It's uh, more or less a direct continuation of the Mozilla browser suite. It's got an email and news groups and email all linked together. It's very nice. I love it. Uh, well, I used to love using it. And I was surprised that it was still going. Uh, September the 4th is the latest release. And it's available for Linux and a few other platforms like Windows and Mac OS. Uh, but no FreeBSD, and that's a problem. It used to be available for FreeBSD, but yeah, it's, they stopped uh, porting it. So if you choose the one that you want, in this case, it's going to be Linux 64-bit uh, and the British language version. You choose the one that's appropriate to you, in this case, uh, a Linux one. I can't guarantee it'll work on the 32-bit or um, it may even work on Wine, but I can't guarantee that. So I'm just downloading it. And the great thing about this is that there's no, it's not a complicated installation. So you extract it to the directory where it downloaded. You can move this to your home folder as well. I think probably the best way to do that. And the binary we're looking for is, if I can uh, find it, is CMonkey. It's actually just called CMonkey and there it is. And that's all we need to do. We just uh, just start that up. I'm going to start up via the command line. I don't. I, t I tend to prefer that way. And once I know it's working, then I can put it into the uh, menu on the Motif Window Manager. And if you look in the directory where we download, you can see CMonkey's listed there. So dot slash CMonkey, and it should start up. There we go. Absolutely brilliant. And of course, you know, if you're familiar with CMonkey, you know what to expect. You're going to get a little thing at the beginning. You don't have to have that every time. I'm just going to leave it for now. And it can handle your email, your news groups, all that lot. And I just I just prefer it rather than having a separate thing. It's just all in one. It's integrated. I, I do prefer that. Um, it runs very nicely. And there's the build, if you wish. Uh, 2.53.19. And it's the latest one in September. It's very nice. I like it very much. And uh, I, I, I used it for such a long time because I thought it wasn't possible. So I thought I'd just download it and try it and it works. So uh, I thought I'd share it with you in case you ever need to use it yourself. The usual menus. And of course, the most important ones are, in my opinion, is the windows where you can open up your mail and news groups, composer, address book, IRC chat. It's all in one. It's something which I wish they'd continued with um, with Firefox to a certain extent. But I understand the philosophy behind Firefox. So, yeah. Well, I used to understand the philosophy behind Firefox. Uh, it's all point when it originally came out. It was what was less bloated version of this. Or the Mozilla suite. But, hey, yo, never mind. And there's the uh, Composer, if you want to do some simple uh, HTML. Or if you're learning HTML, there's... Uh, that's a good way of doing it. Yeah, I like it. I like Sea Monkey. It's um, it's I don't know. It, it to me because I'm holdy C and I, I remember using the Mozilla Suite. To me, it's just a continuation. So yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you. It's fairly simple. No installation needed over beyond just extracting the uh, directory, or the folder. Uh, place it in your home folder. Link to it in your menus, and you should be good to go. And the same applies to GhostBSD. You just download it, go to the directory it downloaded, move it over to your home folder if you wish, and you execute it in the same way. And link to it on the desktop or to your menu, you know, whichever way you want to do it. And it works perfectly. Yeah, quite happy with this. If this video has been useful, then please consider giving it a like or a thumbs up. If you uh, like one or two or more of my videos, then please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos that come out. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time. This and every other video on my channel has been made using FreeBSD and open source software.